Hello, my third grade friends. Today, we are going to look at the vocabulary for our new story this week, Coco Ice. And our story happens to take place in two locations, one in the Caribbean, which we're learning about, and the second location is in the Northeast region of the United States. So we're gonna look at some new words and their definitions. Let's get started here. All right, so our first word we're gonna look at is the word harvest. Harvest means to gather a crop. And here is a picture of a man who is harvesting cocoa pods or cocoa pods. And these have chocolate in them. We're gonna learn a lot about how chocolate comes from the cocoa pod. So our sentence is, do you see the man harvest the cocoa pods or cocoa pods? So harvest means to gather a crop. The next word we're gonna see in our story this week is the word pulp. Pulp is the soft part of certain fruits and vegetables. So here is a picture of the inside of the cocoa bean or the pulp inside. The white stuff in the cocoa pulp surrounding the beans and that's what this is here. We also talk about like the pulp of an apple is the part that you eat, okay? So pulp is the inside soft part of fruits and vegetables. The next word we're gonna see this week is the word machete. Machete is a heavy knife used as a tool for cutting plants. Machete, a heavy knife used as a tool for cutting plants. Here is a picture of a machete. The machete is used to harvest the cocoa pods. So you would use this machete to cut plants or if you're going like on a hike, you might use it to cut the brush away on your trail. Our next word we're gonna see this week is the word trading. We've talked about trading before. Trading is used for the purpose of exchanging one thing for another. So we trade things or exchange them. So here's a picture. We talked about this when we talked about getting shoes and if you're a potato farmer. And so in order to get what you need, you trade your item for something else. These people are trading to get the product they desire. So I'm gonna give you corn, you're gonna give me rice, I'm gonna give you a painting, exchanging. We're also gonna see the word schooner. Schooner is a ship that has two or more masts with sails in the front and the back. And here is a picture of a schooner. So a mast is this tall part of the ship that holds the sails. So a schooner has to be a large enough boat that there are two masts with the sails. A sailboat sometimes only has one because it's smaller, but a schooner is a larger boat with two. This is a modern two-mast schooner. We're also gonna see the word support, which means to hold the weight of. The lake is frozen solid and can support the children playing on a snow day. So the lake can hold the weight of the children because the liquid has frozen to a solid. Another word we're gonna see is the word bargain. Bargain is to talk about a trade in order to get a better deal. So the Indians and Europeans will bargain until they're happy with their trade agreement. Bargaining means if I say, okay, I'm gonna give you a four M&Ms for your Reese's peanut butter cup. And you say, well, how about six M&Ms? And then I say, how about five M&Ms? And then we come to an agreement. So bargaining is talking back and forth until you agree on your item. All right, the words again this week are harvest, pulp, machete, trading, schooner, support, and bargain. Which word would go in the blank? 
You must use a blink to clear a path in the rainforest. We would use a machete, and that's what the man is holding here. A machete would clear the path. All right, here are our words again, and let's look at our sentence. The ladies will blink for the best price for the best vegetable. They will bargain. They're going to talk back and forth until they can come up with the best price. All of our words again. Let's see which one would go in our new sentence here. These tools are used to blank the ice. So in our story, they're gonna collect the ice and that is to harvest. They're collecting or gathering those goods. Again, our words. And here is our sentence. These kids are blank buttons. They are trading them, trading their buttons, giving one for another. Although the blank of an apple is very healthy for you, the seeds are poisonous. What part of the apple do we eat? We eat the pulp of the apple. So the word in that blank would have been the pulp. The blank was used as a trading vessel in the olden days. This is a picture of a schooner. Remember, schooner is a boat with two masts or more. All of our words again. The baby backpack helps the mother blank the weight of her baby. And this word is support. She's holding up the weight of the baby with that backpack, so support. All right, those are the words you're gonna see in our story this week. I can't wait for you to read all about it.